upcoming TV shows for spring and summer. So, for those of you who had just completed one series of a super epic TV show and are very interested in knowing when the best season will air, or those of you who are looking to get a hint on which movie to watch in the coming month, here is the answer you've been looking for. So, we've compiled and brought the list here for you today again, and before we go divulging into it, let's just use this moment to say hello and welcome you back to your favorite channel. And in today's episode, we're going to put a tool of Thor to use and harness the power of Mjolnir to break into the secret vault of Hollywood. So why not sit back, take a bowl of popcorn, and pay attention as we unleash the list of the top upcoming TV shows for spring and summer. It is meticulously precise to assume that everyone is a film lover, not to dispute the fact that we have some sets of people that don't even want to have anything to do with the screen. But I love movies and shows. You love movies and shows, and everyone should presumably too. However, even though the engaging power of some TV shows can make us pop out of our seat in anticipation, or leave us moody for the rest of the day, TV shows can still end up being a real pain in the ass. It's easy to say so, as every new year is a new TV year, and each TV year brings with it a sense of full potential. Most of it's for the best, but sometimes it's for disappointment. I mean, we can't just do without the bad parts, can we? With more than a score of series coming into various streaming and broadcasting systems nationwide, and totally new streaming systems being brought to life yearly, we can all agree on the fact that we can't just keep up completely with the Hollywood ancestral line as we know fully well that TV shows have been perfectly crafted just to pierce our anticipation. And it works. Simply taking a peep into the vault, I can see a long and impressive list of new series aimed at dropping in the spring and summer seasons of this year. And not to even make mention of already running series, but which will be renewed for another period. Yes, the list we saw is quite long, just as we always do. Let's get down into business and talk about the best and most popular TV shows to expect in the coming months. One, Dispatches from Elsewhere. Dispatches from Elsewhere is an upcoming American anthology television drama series created by and starring Jason Siegel. Announced on July 28, 2018, that AMC had given the production a series order, it was slated that the series will premiere on AMC's streaming channel on the 1st of March, 2020. According to the summary we pulled out from AMC, IMDb, and Rotten Tomatoes, the series is all about four ordinary individuals feeling as though there's something missing in their lives, and stumbling across a puzzle hiding just beyond the veil of everyday life, and their eyes are open to a world of possibility and magic. While we may currently not know much about the show yet, we can always still be happy that this show will start off with a touch of magic. Two, Amazing Stories Ever encountered the unreal fantasy and horror stories of Steven Spielberg? Yeah, I'm talking about the 1985 sci-fi series titled Amazing Stories. This one's going to be a, call it a revamped or rebooted version of the series. But coming from my simple mind, I think that the title should have at least been modified for a modern period like this, even though it's based on the initial. Airing live on the 6th of March, this anthology series is going to feature many unreal fantasy and horror stories. According to Apple's March 2019 event, they have to be the best stories ever told. Spielberg himself was present at the event to announce the new Apple Plus streaming app, made mention that one episode of Amazing Stories will feature a World War II pilot. Pretty cool, right? Let's just hope they get connected through a single thematic thread. Pretty good story. Be nice. I'll tell it to you sometime. Three, the plot against America. America is a great country and we know that, but its greatness has kind of made it a base for various evil plots and this TV series is aimed at depicting a part of it. The Plot Against America is an upcoming American drama television miniseries created and written by David Simon and Ed Burns, based on the 2004 novel of the same name by Philip Roth, 
and it's set to premiere on HBO on March 16, 2020. The series storyline follows that of an alternate American history during World War II and is told through the eyes of a working-class Jewish family in New Jersey as they endure the political rise of Charles Lindbergh, who captures the presidency and turns the nation toward fascism. The story imagines what would happen if a Hitler supporter, Charles Lindbergh, became president and turned America toward fascism. Ever wondered what that would look like? Why not find out in the series? Anyway, enough of the March thing. Let's get into April. It is the America Firsters. It's their country. Four, home before dark. With March starting with magic, April is getting somewhat dark. We can abruptly conclude this is gonna be a year of Hollywood mystery. Home Before Dark is an upcoming American mystery drama web television series created by Dana Fox and Dara Resnick and produced for Apple TV+. The series is based on the life of a young journalist, Hilda Lysiak, and is set to star Brooklyn Prince, Jim Sturgis, Abby Miller, Louis Hertham, Michael Weston, Kiefer O'Reilly, Kylie Rogers, and many more other popular actors and actresses. This story of a young girl who moves from Brooklyn to the small lakeside town her father left behind will premiere on the 3rd of April, 2020. We both. Five, the good fight. In the blink of an eye, Diane Lockhart, a lawyer, loses her entire life savings due to a scam. She is then forced to find a job and start anew. Confused already? Well, that was the storyline. The Good Fight is an American legal web television series produced for CBS's streaming service, CBS All Access. And it is a spin-off and sequel to The Good Wife, which was created by the Kings. The Good Fight isn't a new series, but will be returning for a fourth season the 9th of April. The new season finds Reddick, Bozeman, and Lockhart entering unknown territory as they have to navigate the big firm that they are now a subsidiary of, breathing down their necks. Christine Baranski continues to lead the charge of the law drama, and Hugh Dancy, Hannibal, is a new addition to the cast. I never used to swear, so when I do that... Six, run. Oh, no, no, no. I don't mean you should run. That's just the title of the series. Set to air live on the 12th of April this year, Run is an upcoming American television comedy thriller series created by Vicki Jones and ordered to series by HBO. According to the story premise as said by HBO, Ruby Richardson walks away from her ordinary life in the suburbs to revisit her past with her college boyfriend, Billy Johnson. The two made a pact 17 years earlier. If either one of them texted the word run and the other replied with the same, they would drop everything and meet in Grand Central Station and travel across America together. Kind of the one you would love to watch, right? Same here. Maybe we should just run into the future. Run. Don't say that unless you mean it. Seven, The Walking Dead, The World Beyond. Just like I'd already said, we're gonna see a considerably large amount of evil this Hollywood year and we should be prepared for the worst. Airing on the same day as Run is The Walking Dead, The World Beyond, a story of two young women coming of age during the zombie apocalypse. And just when you thought there couldn't possibly be more of the dead people walking, AMC brings you even more of The Walking Dead. Differing from the already told stories, this season is set 10 years after the apocalypse and let me hint you, it's going to feature some pretty cool female protagonists. Everything changed. The end of the world was our beginning. Eight, I know this much is true. Before dropping out of April, let me take a minute to surprise the wild fans of Mark Ruffalo. I Know This Much Is True is an upcoming TV series based on the novel of the same name and was ordered to series in October 2018. This series is going to star Mark Ruffalo in the double role of identical twin brothers Dominic and Thomas Birdsey. The drama follows both of their lives as they and their families struggle with the effects of mental illness and work together toward forgiveness. The series comes from Derek C. on France with Ruffalo on as executive producer and sees a stacked cast featuring Melissa Leo, Imogen Poots, and others. Promise me, Dominic. I'm gonna get you out of here. 
Nine, The Great. Coming to Hulu on the 15th of May, I present to you The Great. The Great details the rise to power of Catherine the Great and her explosive relationship with husband Peter, the Emperor of Russia. Not to be confused with the HBO miniseries Catherine the Great that came out last year. The Great will star Elle Fanning as the ruler, and it documents her young rise, from living in Austria in the 17th century to being married off to a Russian ruler. It's science! Enjoy! <laughs> Do you mean touche? 10. Soulmates Coming out this summer without a specified release date yet, Soulmates is basically Black Mirror meets Amazon Prime's Modern Love. According to the writer of Black Mirror, the show is also an anthology set in the near future where science has reached a place where it's able to reveal who everybody's soulmate is. The first season will feature six different stories with varied tones and new cast members, each telling stories about true love. And who doesn't love to watch a movie centered around love? None that we know of, but maybe you have someone in mind. For more info like this in the future, take a few seconds to like, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. <laughs> Brand new Soulmates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.